Hello everyone, my name is Sean and I am going to take you for a little walk through our Minecraft creation here on the Church Mag server. Uh, I typically have my three-year-old son Finn with me, uh, but right now he is in bed and I am actually getting a few moments to stream by myself. It's a rare occurrence, but it's quite, uh, quite pleasant actually. So, uh, it was confronted a while ago about um, doing a little walkthrough and my history of gaming by, by Jeremy and, and Eric Dye of uh, Church Mag and been playing on the server for a few weeks now and, and just seeing so much of this build up around what's, uh, um, what's being done, this community that's, that's continuing to grow, which has been so cool to see. Uh, and I figured I might as well finally take the time and, and record and kind of give you a tutorial of, of what I've developed here and and uh, a little bit of the history of, of where I come from uh, and uh, kind of give you get to know you a little bit better. So this is actually the kind of start to uh, a strip mine that I've started to build. Uh, I love mining. It's a lot of fun. Uh, in fact, that's one of the whole reasons I really kind of got into Minecraft was just the um, adventure of being able to discover these new places. Um, a lot of times whenever I would play games like Halo or games like um, any RPG games, uh, especially MMOs that I'd played in the past, uh, a lot of times the quests were fun, uh, the action and the adventure was great, but after I played through the game I would just immediately jump into seeing where I could get and what I could get to. Um, so Minecraft was very much so that way. I actually came in early in Alpha Alpha 1.1, I think September 2008 uh, is when I came in and started playing back in the day before. Um, I mean, it was pretty much a completely different game at that point. Uh, it's fun looking back and, and seeing what was available at the game at that point. Uh, it's definitely definitely changed quite a bit. So to start with, um, I actually used some TNT just to s develop a main um, a, a main area here for me to kind of dig down to the bedrock, which is what we've got right here, and then started kind of mining out, started mining tunnels. And uh, as I was on my way down, I ran across this pretty incredible. Um, abandoned mine shaft, uh, abandoned mining facility, and I'm actually leaving this water here because I don't tend to have mobs spawn over here, but I'll have mobs spawn on either side of this and they just get moved out of the way. Uh, but I've actually been really successful down here so far, so I'll, I'll jump back up here and kind of give you a tour on my way out. Um, Video games for me kind of started out as a bonding experience back with um, uh, my primary system back in the day was probably the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. Um, I remember my, my parents bringing that home and, and just how incredible it was to be able to sit down and play with my dad playing original Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, Fester's Quest, uh, The Legend of Zelda, a lot of great games that I really got into as a kid and really found myself... Um, drawn to. Uh, this is the, the little top area here that I've kind of built out for the mining facility. Uh, I love mine carts. I love laying down track and kind of giving myself safe passage from one side to the other. Um, and that's why I kind of built this out. So we'll hop in here and uh, give you a quick tour on the way up to the... This is at the, the first spot we're going to stop is actually my, my spawn, uh, but it is also our access to the nether, uh, which has been kind of my primary project for the server as a whole, is to build out what's called a nether hub, uh, quick transport between uh, different spawns. Um, but I had a lot of fond memories as a kid growing up playing video games. Uh, at age, I'd say age 10, I think is what it was, uh, my parents got a divorce, and that fun, adventurous time that I had with my dad was no longer there. Um, though he was still uh, regionally there, he wasn't as involved. Um, I really only got to see him every other weekend and on Thursdays and really not a whole lot of time. Um, and it was 
really tough on me, uh, something that I took very hard, uh, suffered with a lot of depression, a lot of um, just wanting to be away from people, not talk to anybody, but video games were one area where I found people that didn't judge me for who I was, uh, played a lot of games, starting to get into the internet, and that was my social outlet. I didn't get along with a lot of people uh, because I was geeky and nerdy and, well, apparently we have a zombie pig man that has made his way through the nether portal. <laughs> um, it, was an, it was a way for me to connect to people who were like-minded. I was always into computers. Uh, professionally, I work as a systems administrator. Uh, so I work with servers and uh, Windows and Mac operating systems and uh, computers has just always been something I've been interested in. So video games kind of always kind of came alongside that. Um, this is, again, my little spawn area. Uh, I've been trying to come up with a spot regionally in between my, my fortress, which is there off in the distance, uh, and my strip mine. So this is where I spawn. This is also the quick and easy access to our nether portal, which we'll go into in a bit. So as I started getting more and more into video games, I started realizing more and more that it was something that was becoming all-consuming. Uh, I always wanted to play video games. I wanted to uh, become a professional gamer at one point, but that was pretty typical of any interest that I had, is how can I make money doing this? And uh, though I did do some, uh, some league play and tournament play and you know, won a few dollars and a few prizes here and there on, on some team play, playing early StarCraft, uh, StarCraft Brood Wars, um, I never really got into it as a... Any, it didn't make anything uh, significant from that. Um, originally, this was just a little hill, so I've built out this fortress, series of fortresses. This actually was a floating block that I decided I would build out my um, enchantment room. So in here is uh, enchantment table and just kind of floats out. Beautiful view of the sunrise as it comes up. Um, nice deep lake peninsula area over here. Uh, I've got, a, got my farm down below. And actually we recently had a server crash and uh, I lost half my farm so we had to roll back. But those pumpkins were melons. Uh, and that's kind of the next step is for me to find some more melon seeds and get down there and, and uh, get that rebuilt. But I actually have had this so that I can hop in my boat. I can, I can spawn a boat right here and shoot off and be down towards spawn, the original spawn. Um, everybody's down this way here, which is actually south. Um, so the, the fortress is is pretty basic. Uh, I don't have a whole lot going on inside of it, but it's just been kind of nice to build out this nice big uh, big location, something daunting on the hillside. So I've got a little storage room here with uh, um, eight furnaces. I've got a lot of supplies stacked out and fairly well organized. I do want to come back through here and organize these more. Um, stuff for the nether and then some random stuff here. So, in fact, I can, while we're wandering around, I should put this back on, <laughs> just in case. So, I've got a little private room in here. I've got my jukebox. Love the skin here. This is uh, Doku Craft. Um, I think this is Doku Craft Lite. But, anyway, it's always fun to be able to have uh, interactive, uh, interactive skins. So uh, here's the brewery. This is where I'm primarily doing uh, all of our potions. So we've got fire resistance and night vision and water breathing, invisibility, swiftness two, strength two, regeneration, and poison two, splash poison two. So built out quite a few supplies. Um, I can get four going at a time, which I found is kind of the most that I really want to do because otherwise I'm bouncing back and forth between them a lot. Endless water pool. And then down below, I've got our uh, nether wart. So pseudo little nether portal here. Um, and that's pretty much giving me all the nether, uh, nether wart that I could use. So I've never really had a need for anything else once I got that going. 
So from up top, we've got a little cow farm here. My iron golems decided that they all wanted to jump in with the cows, which is a design flaw. Um, but for now, they're protecting the cows. <laughs> so let's head back down here. So we've got cows. And as you can hear, I've trapped a few of my own. So we've got a priest, all my zombie meat goes to him, and then we've got a leather worker. And I think I've maxed him out. I haven't been able to get emeralds out of him for a while, so we'll see. So this is a killing zone. Uh, eventually what I plan to do is uh, extend the spruce staircase down to spruce steps that it's gonna lead straight over here. And uh, kind of give us a nice path over here. Let me take care of this Enderman too. Endermen don't like being on fire though. Yeah, those guys are so fast. So the the thing that my son loves the most, uh, again he's three years old, uh, shameless plug here, you can, you can uh, do, a, do a YouTube search for toddler craft, one word and uh, pull up our feed, but man, we have a lot of fun. He loves this game so much. And his absolute favorite part is killing the bad guys. That is uh, his favorite. <laughs> so this is kind of the gist of where where I am, what I've done uh, here on the server. Uh, we'll head over to the nether portal real quick so you guys can see what I've done over there and uh, finish it out at spawn. But, uh, when I was 20 or so, 19, 20, 21, somewhere around there, um, I realized that that, uh, that video games were, were definitely getting to be a problem. Um, I had lost a, a very serious relationship at the time, uh, which in hindsight was a good thing, uh, but a very serious relationship at the time because I was literally just playing too much video games, never spent time with her, never never really focused on, on her or the relationship and you know you, you, relationship is time spent it, uh, it's the way that um, you get to know each other and that relationship fell apart and kind of woke me up a little bit and I realized that uh, maybe it was becoming something that I needed to really address and, and take a look at and so uh, I pulled away from it completely really played no video games whatsoever um, join into an internship down in Texas, um, a place called Teen Mania Ministries. That's going to come back and bite me, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> uh, and at the internship, I, I really began to hear uh, God's calling on my life to... Um, to follow him, to really seek him, and to understand who he is and who he's called me to be. And uh, in that time, it was a lot easier uh, being away from video games and not listening to uh, all of the the noise of those video games on a on a regular basis. And so, uh, it wasn't until actually it wasn't until after uh, I graduated from the internship, two years, I met my my now wife there. Um, we got married. Uh, in that first year of marriage, we, I really didn't play video games. Uh, we didn't really have a means for me to play video games. Uh, but after we got our first computer, that, that draw came back again. And I found that my desire to play video games all the time started coming back. And it took a while uh, to get to a point where I felt like I could find a balance. And a lot of times that came from me uh, communicating properly with my wife and saying, hey, I'd, I'd like to play some video games tonight. What do you think about that? Is, do we have time for that? Is that okay? And uh, that communication really made a huge difference. And I found myself um, not feeling like I had to hide or that I was neglecting her from it. So this is the, uh, this is the other end of the nether portal. So it kicks us right out into the main area. So if uh, you find yourself on the Minecraft server here for Church Mag and you want to come pay me a visit, uh, feel free to go through the Nether portal uh, and through the Nether hub. 
Uh, you can hop on the rail there and it'll quickly take you out, or you can just follow the North Star. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, it has been a lot of fun playing on the server and getting to know the guys here, and uh, it's definitely an honor to be asked to, to put a video out together like this, and, and I hope to make quite a few more. Um, feel free to swing by uh, my YouTube channel and uh, take a look at the antics of what it sounds like to have a uh, three-year-old singing at the top of his lungs while you slaughter zombies and skeletons. Uh, it is quite hilarious, and I find myself uh, laughing on a regular basis throughout it. Uh, but I'd be more than happy to, to talk to any of you guys uh, as well if you're finding yourself uh, in a situation, too, where uh, video games are taking up a lot more time than, than maybe they should. Uh, I know that it's something that, that I've dealt with in the past and, and have worked with in the past, and uh, I'd be more than happy to talk to any of you guys about it. So uh, come play, talk to the talk to, to Jeremy, talk to Eric, and uh, see if you can get an invite for the server, because uh, we do have a lot of fun on here, and we laugh a lot, and uh, if it wasn't uh, almost midnight here, uh, Pacific, uh, Pacific Standard Time, there would be a lot more people on, and uh, they'd be laughing, but for now, it's uh, Jeremy, Gumby Station, because he pretty much just sits AFK all day. <laughs> So we love you, Jeremy. Um, and uh, I think he's fishing. Is that what you're doing? Yep, he's, he's AFK fishing. So we'll get hurt here. Oh, oh. Here. Have a steak. All right, take care. <laughs>